Good morning, everybody. My name is Erin Beach. I am a certified personal trainer here in the town of Listowel. When we're not on a lockdown, I do my training out of Live Fit, a gym here in Listowel. Um, last time around with the lockdown, I did a video each week for the town for them to put on their page and just share with you guys some information, some struggles we might be going through, some nutrition tips, and every time I would give a little workout for you guys to try. So here I am again, round two with lockdown. So like my other videos, I will be starting with a mindset. I will talk about a little bit of nutrition and give you a workout to try. So stay tuned. Okay, so starting with mindset. What I wanna talk about first today is this is not even because of COVID and lockdown and stuff. This is maybe just a mindset with the new year. This just might be a mindset you've adopted over the years. And that is an all or nothing mindset. I've talked about this before, but I want to talk more about specifically consistency. And sometimes when we're gung ho on a new challenge or um, program, we, we want to go hard, all, all out which is great. It's great to have that eagerness, but I want you to just to take a minute and think about the little things every day that you can be doing that are going to make the bigger difference than those all out big things right in the beginning that are going to die off, potentially die off. So little things like the fact that you're showing up for your workout. So maybe not every day it's going to feel great. Maybe not every day you're going to be able to lift your heaviest or go your fastest or whatever it is, but you showed up. So showing up on those days when you planned, I mean, obviously scheduled rest days. Yes. So not every, every day, but showing up on the planned workout days and, and celebrating the fact that you showed up water, getting your water in consistently every day, even if it sucks, because sometimes drinking water does suck. It's hard to get all of that water in a day. Um, and just those little things that you do in a day with your nutrition the, the wins that you have. So getting some greens in, getting some proteins in. Um, yeah, everything's not going to be perfect. Everything's not going to be hundred percent clean, but celebrate those little things that you do every day that are setting you up long-term that is setting the tone for how you want to be living your life. So anyways, I just wanted to say consistency is key. It's not always all about the big things. It is very much about those little things that we stick to. Okay. So think about those little things that you can do every day and celebrate them. High five yourself. Be happy. Be proud. Okay. Okay. Nutrition. My favorite tip for nutrition is meal prep or somehow being prepared. Meal prepping, a full meal is not necessarily for everybody, but having the things that you're going to need prepared, even if it's in separate containers and you don't just make like individual meals for every meal, fine. However, being prepared looks for you. So some of the reasons why being prepared and doing, taking that time to meal prep is it's actually going to save you time in the long run. If you take a little bit of time on <clears throat> whatever day it is that works for you, for me, it's Sundays and you take an hour or two and you prep some food for the week, it's going to save you mu time. Sorry, money's another thing in a second. Time on the long run. So you're not at lunchtime wondering, what am I going to eat? Or making an actual lunch because boom, it's ready. It's there. Money. That's another thing I was going to talk about. So sometimes when we don't know what to eat, it's just easier to go pick something up, which can get very costly. But if you have something prepared, who wants to go buy food and waste your money when you have already put money into buying those ingredients for the food that you have made, right? You don't want it to go bad. Um, it's less stressful because you're not left thinking about what am I going to eat and when am I going to make it and how am I going to make it and do I have the stuff that I want to eat and et cetera, et cetera. So it, it does def definitely causes you less stress. Um, I, I find that when people don't have things prepared, it is too easy just to have those convenience foods, whether that's grabbing something from a drive through whether that's grabbing a convenience food at home, that's maybe not going to be as nutrient dense as what a prepared healthy meal could and would be. So 
even if like right now I am not working other than I'm doing some zoom calls and stuff. Um, I still have my food prepared because I don't want to get hungry. And when I get hungry, I get hangry. It's, it's a thing. I don't want to get to that point and then just be so hungry that I just grab something that I really wasn't fully wanting. And if I want that convenience food, sure, I might have it. But if that's not what I was planning on, I don't want to be just forced to eat that because I'm hangry and I'm short on time and I don't know what I'm going to have. So be prepared. Just like I said, however that looks for you, chopping veggies, cooking meat, you know, whether you like to have, we like to have our whole meal ready and in a container, it's, it's beautiful. The fridge looks beautiful when you have all these little containers ready, but however it looks for you. Okay. So just think about being prepared. Even if you're not working full time, it still sets you up for success. Okay. Give it a try. Okay. So the little workout for today, it's short, it's simple. It's not going to take you a long time. It might sound daunting at the start. It's two minutes of four things. The idea is though, not to be like, oh, well, I can't do that for four minutes. So I'm not going to do it. The idea is to count how long or how many reps you can do the said exercise for in that two minutes. Okay. So uh, I'll show you the exercises in a second, two minutes of a plank, two minutes of a wall sit, two minutes of burpees, two minutes of squats, the squats, you can have a weight. You don't need a weight, whatever. So with the wall sit and the plank, those are isometric holds. So you may not be able to do those for two minutes straight. That's fine. But what I want you to take note of is how long you do it within that two minutes. So if you're like, just do a little bit of quick math. I held for 20, I stopped for five, you know, et cetera. Okay. So think about how long you can do it in that two minute window. Same with the plank. All right. The plank and the wall sit, both of those things, the burpees and the squats. I want you to be counting. How many reps did I get in that two minutes? Because after that eight minutes is done. And if you need to, in between each two minutes, you can take a 30, 60 second rest, depending on your fitness level, where you're at, take the rest that you need in between the wall sit and the plank and the burpees, etc. Okay. Um, and then after you've done that eight minutes, cause it's four things for two minutes each, take a good minute or two rest and repeat. So I want you to know what you did the first time and be like, okay, I can beat myself and try to do a little bit more. All right. And then maybe in a week or two, if you've, you know, got nothing to do on a certain day and you don't have a workout plan, do this again. And same thing, track what you can do and celebrate if you've increased your time or your reps. Okay. So first we've got a plank. All right. So your wrists, your elbows and your shoulders are all stacked. All right. In a nice straight line. If you have wrist problems, you can go from your forearms. I don't find that one or the other is harder necessarily. This just saves your wrists a little bit. Okay. Your butt is in line with your spine. I don't want your butt up or down. All right. So nice, strong tummy, nice, strong bum. Next, you've got a wall sit. All right. So getting yourself up against the wall, back is flat against the wall, 90 degree angle in your legs. All right. Keep that back straight against the, the wall and just count. Try to have a timer on somewhere, keeping note of how long you're doing it because that's going to burn. So you might need to come up for a second and then go right back down. So keep note of how many seconds you do in total for that two minutes. Then we've got burpees. All right. So full on burpee, you're going to give a jump, hands go down, feet go out, chest down, up. If you can't do the full on burpee, you're going to bring your hands down, step those feet out, drop the chest, step those feet in. All right. And then squats. Like I said, if you want, you can have a weight here. Don't need to. Feet are at least hip width apart and you're getting down as low as you can go. All right. As many as you can do. All right. Keeping that upper body nice and straight. Toes are slightly pointed out as low as you can go. Everyone has a different depth of their squat. Okay. Rest for a couple of minutes and then repeat that. See if you can beat what you just did. All right. Have fun. All right, friends, that is it for today. I hope you got something useful out of this. Give that workout a try. Uh, meal prepping, let me know how you feel about them. And as always, if you have any ideas or anything you're looking for help on, comment, reach out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. You can find me in those places. All right. As well, I am hosting some online Zoom workouts about five times a week. So message me if you are interested in something like that. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.